As we go to air, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, is currently holding a news event. He's about to take questions. Let's listen in. That that program meant so much to that business. Now, they not only kept those four, they're now putting more on. They've graduated out of JobKeeper and they've got a new contract because they've kept their staff on and they're, they're set. They're set. That's what our plan's doing. Prime yep. Minister, Gladys has been a tremendous Premier and she has my absolute support. And uh, I, I thought she showed a lot of courage yesterday, but I also show, thought she showed a lot of humility, which is the Gladys I know. You know, we're all human, and particularly in those areas of our lives, and Gladys is an extremely private person and a person of tremendous integrity. She's a great friend. And I know she's been getting many messages of support from her friends and colleagues, including me from yesterday and Jenny. Um, that would have been really tough to have that all out there in front of everybody yesterday. I, I just thought she showed a lot of strength to deal with that and to deal with the, the choices that she's made in her own life and, uh, and how she just dealt with it yesterday I thought was a real credit to her and, and to her family as well. And I want to you know, thank uh, particularly Don Perrottet and Brad Hazard and the whole team down there in the New South Wales government getting in behind her and, uh, and certainly they were the messages we sent yesterday. Do you see that she's hurting her judgment by continuing this relationship after... No, no, look, Gladys has made her statement on that, and I support her in her statement. What I do know is that she's shown the way, particularly when it comes to how to grow uh, a, a state like New South Wales and get the balance right between how you're managing COVID and how you're growing your economy. As I said yesterday, New South Wales has had a 70% turnaround in their employment since the pit of the COVID recession, 70%. In Queensland, it's been 44%. In South Australia, it's also close to 70%. And I think the way Gladys Berejiklian has led New South Wales in this crisis, as part of the National Cabinet, she's been a key figure that I've relied on on so many occasions. And uh, I'm really pleased with what she said yesterday. I'm thrilled uh, that, uh, you know, I can one I guarantee you one thing, Gladys is someone who keeps on keeping on. Well, all, all political parties should comply with the laws. The laws are different in different states. They're different at federal level, they're different at state level. Everyone should comply with the law. It's pretty straightforward.